Alright guys, now we're going to meet Anna. Anna's a skills training fellow. Basically what she does is she works with human body training models to demonstrate pacemakers. That's right. The robe is on. Let's get into it. Yo, yo, what's up? Hey, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you as well. I'm excited. So I see you got a lot of patients on the table. Yes, we do. They're pretty quiet. They're they're really good. So this is one of our simulator training rooms okay. that we, we bring physicians in. We bring physicians in training in. Okay. Yeah. Cool, I'm excited. The first thing we're going to be doing is a pacemaker implant. They have these wires that go into the patient's heart that keep the patient's heart rate from going too low. Here's your patient. Mm -hmm. We're in the operating room room okay right. this is your monitor where you're gonna see your x-ray heart rhythm and heart okay. rate and then on here is the controls where i can put our boston scientific products in the simulation for you to use let's do it okay dr juice is in the house we want to put this lead into the right ventricle we go and do see it moving Ooh. you're not gonna hurt anything here right there you go. Oh, wow. Oh. That's exactly what we wanted. There's a tiny little screw. Okay. That's how it fixates into the heart tissue. Pull that stylet out. And you placed your first pacemaker lead. <laughs> it helps with their heart failure. It helps the response is what we call it. So okay. that they can play with their grandkids. It restores the function, the pumping of their heart. They can go upstairs, bring in their groceries, and yeah. just have more quality of life. We did that. We did that. Like when you were younger, how did you develop into wanting to be a skills trainer? Well, I didn't know it existed. I thought I wanted to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. I loved the medical field. I loved helping people. Um, and I was really good at math and science. I really liked to do like logic puzzles or hands on kind of like a game to get the red car out of the kind of puzzle kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. And then I heard about biomedical engineering, mm -hmm. which kind of marries the engineering mind with also my like uh, clinical passion. And it, it turns out that's kind of what I do now. As, yeah. as we did today, we did hands on training and yeah. examples and demonstrations. And I can see how what I do trickles down into yeah. into helping patients. That's amazing. My confidence is something that I've had to work on. And I think I've been able to build my confidence and grow in that way by having strong mentors and just taking risks and speaking up and speaking my mind. And that has really helped me to grow. Yeah, I love that. I love that a lot. Work on your confidence and of course your competence. And I think they go hand in hand. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much. I've definitely worked on my confidence and my competence. So thank you. Ellie. You're very welcome. Dun, 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 dun. Well, I'll see you around. Okay.